A new public service announcement released by gun safety advocacy group Sandy Hook Promise highlights the harrowing new reality that students face at schools across the country. Take a look. This year, my mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. These colorful binders help me stay organized. These headphones are just what I need for studying. These new sneakers are just what I need for the new year. This jacket is a real must-have. My parents got me the skateboard I wanted. It's pretty cool. These scissors really come in handy in art class. These colored pencils, too. These new socks, they can be a real lifesaver. I finally got my own phone to stay in touch with my mom. That is so powerful. Joining me now, NBC's Jeff Bennett on Capitol Hill, Elise Jordan, former White House aide in the George W. Bush White House and an MSNBC political analyst, and Fred Gutenberg, whose daughter Jamie was killed in Parkland, the Parkland school shooting. He is now a gun safety activist and was on the Senate in the Senate last night watching the hours of debate. Jeff, first to you. We understand the administration is floating a new proposal for background checks. It does not close the private sale loophole. Um, let's go through some of the details and what, whether you think there's some, some chance of a compromise. Well, here's what we know, Andrew. We know the Attorney General, Bill Barr, and the White House Legislative Affairs Director, Eric Uland, were here on the Hill yesterday, and they were meeting with key Republican uh, lawmakers over this measure that would expand uh, background checks consistent with the, the Mansion Toomey bill. So right now, under current law, most Americans live in states where anybody, even people with, with a, a violent background, a criminal background, can purchase a gun through an unlicensed seller, whether it's at a gun show or an online sale. And so the, the Justice Department is pushing a measure that would address that loophole. So at the moment, there is general consensus. I don't want to oversell it, but there seems to be some broad agreement here on the Hill. The DOJ is behind it. The sticking point still is the White House. President Trump has not signaled what he would support. And our sources tell us that the White House advisor who is running point on this, named Michael Williams, his background, he comes from, he used to work for a gun silencer uh, company. That's the industry that he comes from. And he's concerned that expanding background checks would leave a paper trail that could then be turned into a gun registry that could then be turned or then be, allow lawmakers to confiscate guns. And so when you heard lawmakers a couple of weeks ago say that Beto or Works comments about buying back AR-style weapons, that was unhelpful. What they were talking about is that it was unhelpful to this current debate, given the, the concerns expressed by some White House advisors, Andrea. Well, Fred, that is exactly the NRA talking point that we've always heard from the industry, which is really what they represent, not really all NRA members. Uh, the rank and file are in support of background checks, largely. It's the gun manufacturers, which includes the silencers, that have been mm -hmm. making this argument that anything that expands background checks would become a gun registry and it could take your weapons away. It's the stupid, silly, silly, silly uh, slippery slope argument, okay? And I'm sorry, I'm not going there, and I've talked about this before. For me, the slippery slope depends on where you stand. We've been on a slippery slope. And, I, and I've, you know, my daughter was born in 2003. In 2004, the ban ended. In 2005, PLACA. And in the year since, you've had a further weakening of gun safety laws that led to where we are today, where my daughter and 40,000 other people die every single year. We've been on a slippery slope. Now it's time to come back to equilibrium. Background checks will save lives. Closing this private sale loophole will save lives. And if anybody doubts it, look at what happened in Odessa. And the, Fred, Mitch McConnell yesterday making it very clear they're not doing anything without the White House, without the president signing on. This was the majority leader yesterday. I want to know what the president supports. It's not unimportant to my members. Which do you understand and the remaining sticking points? What I would like to know is you know, what he thinks would make some progress and he would sign. And uh, until we get that kind of guidance, uh, we're in a holding pattern, so to speak. 
At least you worked in it. Is a holding pattern good enough? Uh, you've got the president tweeting, by the way, seizing on what Beto O'Rourke said, that you know, viral moment from Thursday's debate. The president today tweeting, dummy Beto made it much harder to make a deal, convinced many that Dems just want to take your guns away. We'll continue forward. So is that where we stand? Donald Trump needs to give these Republicans in the Senate political cover for their 2020 Senate races. And Mitch McConnell is being very clear that he doesn't want to risk a contentious vote, granted a vote that would save lives, if these senators are going to be left, uh, left out to dry because Donald Trump doesn't actually back any change. And just because we've seen this act so many times where Donald Trump can change his opinion on the flip of a coin, this is what the GEO senators are worried about. They don't want to be bullied if they do come out and they are with the American public, but not necessarily with the American president. What's your message, Fred, to President Trump and Mitch McConnell? They're worried about this silliness and they're not worried about saving lives. That's the stupidity of what they all say. McConnell, and, and I won't call you Leader McConnell because what you said yesterday, you failed to earn it. When I was in school, we were taught the way democracy works is the House and Senate come up with a bill, pass a bill, and send it to the president to sign or veto. They don't look to the president for permission, okay? So McConnell is just simply giving up his responsibility to be a leader. That is what he has said. I don't want to do this. So you know what, McConnell? We will come and we will fire you. Enough. Fred Guttenberg, thank you very much. Thank Lise you. Jordan, and of course, Jeff Bennett on Capitol Hill.